Some animals are born with regularity. For example, every 10 seconds, a billion rabbits are born. Don't research that. You don't really need to because I promise it's true. But some animals, well, they're not born often at all. These are animals that are born only once in a thousand years. Number 20. Snake with legs. I'll begin with something truly odd, because when you think about snakes, you think about how they're long and thin and they slither around, sometimes climbing up trees or swimming through water with ease, and, and yeah, they can probably eat you whole if they're big enough. But one of the things that you don't expect to see on a snake is legs, because if you think about it, it defeats the purpose of its body type. It's meant to slither around, and legs would break that momentum, right? Well, apparently once upon a time on Earth, they did have legs. The fossilized remains of a creature showed that snakes did have hind legs during the first 70 million years of their evolution. Over the years, theories have suggested that these limbs were merely a transient phase before snakes quickly adapted to their current limbless form. This is a huge discovery, and it's something that proves that we don't always know what animals were like before the time of humans. Thus, why we need to keep on researching them. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. What you're looking at is an artist's recreation of a rare phenomenon. Animals can be born with two or even three heads. It happens very rarely, but maybe only once a thousand years. When it does happen though, the animal's normally very ill and doesn't live for long. The images you're looking at are an artist's recreation of what the babies would look like if they ever grew up. Sadly, we can't show you images of the babies as they're always so ill that it's deeply upsetting to view. Given the pain and suffering that they go through in their short lives, I'm glad that two-headed animals are born rarely, aren't you? As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Albino Heart Turtle this next creature is one that has a bit of a double whammy in terms of what it is, and how it's very different from all that came before it. First and foremost, it's an albino turtle, meaning that it's one that has a white hue versus the typical colors of a turtle, which vary depending on the species. But just as important is that somehow during its birth, the turtle had its heart on the outside of its body. Even with the heart beating outside of the shell, the baby turtle named Hope defied all odds and survived. Hope lives with her owner, Michael, in New Jersey, and Michael is known as Aqua Mike on Instagram. They felt that Mike had the passion and experience to give Hope the longest and happiest life possible. As of September of this year, Hope is alive and well, showcasing a toughness that can't be ignored. Just take a moment and think about the dangers that this turtle would have to face because of its condition, not the least of which is that the slightest thing could have touched its heart and it likely would have died as a result. But it didn't hold back and just kept on going on and was able to live. Number 18. Deuce the Dog now, if you were asked to go and walk to a place, you'd likely be able to do it because you have your legs and they work just fine. There are many animals out there in the world, though, that rely on four legs to get around, and to lose one or even two of them would be quite a devastating thing. And sadly, that's exactly what happened with Deuce the dog. He would be found in a ditch in Kentucky where two of his legs were broken and infected. That was bad because instead of being cured, they had to be amputated. 
Now usually this would mean that the dog would be put down because it would have trouble living, but Deuce pushed on and would be later adopted by Dominic Scudera, who also cares for two separate two-legged dogs, showing that some people are willing to help these creatures despite their disabilities. Defying all logic, he didn't lose his two front legs or back legs. That would be somewhat easy to help the dog get through. He actually lost both of his left legs, meaning that his balance is way off. And yet, he just walks fine. What's more, he and his doggy brothers now serve as therapy animals to children to help inspire them so that they know that they can push through any illness or condition that they go through, because the dogs did so as well. Number 17. Geep. When it comes to breeding, there is the natural order, and then there's the breeding life. Oh, and then there are hybrids. Hybrids are just as they sound, the result of two usually non-compatible animals making a new baby that isn't always genetically sound. Now, I'll be honest, some of these hybrids are quite horrifying to look at, but then there are those like the Geep that are fine for the most part, and they're rare to see. As you can probably guess, a Geep is the result of a goat and a sheep mating. At first, that doesn't sound like an odd thing, because they're both farm animals, and at times they do hang out with one another. They even look alike in certain ways and with certain species. But this happens a lot less than you may think, so much so that when one happened in Northern Ireland, it was a shock to everyone. The farmer who owned the main animals in question, Mr. Murphy, said crossbreeding was not intentional, and he described it as pure shock to the system, saying that it would be a one-off event on his farm. Mr. Murphy had never seen anything like that before and said that his family had been involved in sheep farming for generations. Even to a dedicated farmer, this was an odd thing. But hey, sometimes nature just goes a different course than we should expect. Or as one scientist said, life finds a way. Number 16. Weedapunga this next entry is a bit more different for some than others for one basic reason. This isn't about a once-in-a-lifetime creature that you may have seen, but rather a rare species that you'll only see in a specific spot. In this case, that would be the Weedapunga, which can be found in New Zealand. Well, for now anyways. Don't think that these pictures are meant to fool you in some kind of way. The Weedapunga is the biggest of this type of insect, and when fully grown, they can be even heavier than a mouse or a sparrow. Just think about that for a moment. A bug being larger and heavier than a mouse or a bird. That's honestly rather horrifying in my mind, but I'll do my best to keep it together next to my pet guinea pig, Twinkle, who gives me the best and most wonderful comfort in the world. As for why there isn't more of these insects outside of Little Barrier Island in New Zealand, that would be because of humanity and its desire to destroy the habitats of all sorts of creatures, despite the impact that it has on them. Because they're so limited in their habitats, they can't go off the island, and that's never a good thing for a species already on the edge. To help safeguard the threatened species, an experimental breeding project was successfully undertaken by the staff at Butterfly Creek in South Auckland under the guidance of the Weta Recovery Group. So there is hope for this giant bug, but we're okay if it stays on that side of the world once it gets back its numbers, because I don't need to see that thing up close. Number 15. The One-Eyed Shark now, easily one of the most famous monster catch stories of the last decade or so, a man in Mexico caught a shark that was not only an albino, but had only one eyeball. The fisherman then went and put a picture of it on the internet, and it was immediately said to be fake because it was too horrifying to be real. But the fisherman didn't get rid of the fish, rather far from it. He kept it for a few weeks and then posted pictures of it again, showing that it was indeed a real fish. Once word would spread about how real the thing was, scientists got involved and began to study it. they determined that it was indeed a shark, but not a new species. Rather, it was believed that the one-eyed shark was born with a defect inside its mother's womb. This was a very rare kind of find for the man to get, as only a handful of them have ever been caught. 
Another one would be discovered in Indonesia. Commercial fishermen hauled in their nets in the waters off of Maluka province, and when they pulled the nets up, they found an adult shark that had babies within its stomach. One of them had one eye, and it was a very strange sighting for the men. They turned it over to scientists after they found out, and it just makes you wonder how many more of these one-eyed sharks there are out there. Number 14. Two-Headed Bull Shark Oh, but it's not just the eyes of the shark that sometimes get mutated. No, sometimes it's their entire heads. In 2011, in the Gulf of Mexico, a bull shark was discovered that well and truly had not one, but two heads. Now, just to be clear, this was apparently the case of a couple of young sharks having their embryos fused in the womb, and thus their bodies conformed together, and not just a case of conjoined twins. The result was one shark with two different heads, as well as two different hearts and stomachs. It was certainly one of those interesting and rarely detected phenomenon, but scientists have said that it was good that it was part of the world's natural history, but they'd love to have many more documented finds before they could draw any conclusions about the cause. The shark was discovered by a fisherman when he opened up the uterus of an adult shark, but the sad part about it all is that while it's true that the shark was unique, it was never going to last long. Now remember, it was found inside the adult shark in the wild mainly because its body wasn't suited for the task of living with how its body naturally was. Words no doubt failed the scientists as they first held the fused body and wondered how in the world it could even be possible. Number 13. Croc Buffalo now, remember when I told you about the very odd hybrids that can sometimes happen? Well, I don't know if this is an official hybrid, but it certainly looks like one as you're about to see. In Thailand, a very strange creature was born from a buffalo. Now, to be clear, it was a regular buffalo, and based on all the villagers and what they knew, nothing odd had ever occurred with this particular buffalo. <laughs> But when it birthed its child, while it did have the overall body of a buffalo per se, there were quite a few differences that couldn't be ignored. Not the least of which was the fact that it had skin with scales and its head was very much shaped like a crocodile. So we're on the same wavelength here and I'm not saying that a crocodile and a buffalo mated. I don't even want to try and picture how that would actually work. But the results? Well, they're that this child is something that's very curious. The people of the village that found the creature definitely didn't know what it was and it was beyond anything they had ever seen. And frankly, it's beyond anything that I've ever seen. And that's saying something, because I've been around. Though it should be stated that they were hoping that this new creature would bring them good luck. More than likely, the creature was the result of a birth defect of some sort, but which one? That remains to be told. And it would have to be quite the defect if a buffalo went from the furry and massive beast it usually is to that of a scaly croc of a kid. Number 12. Pigeon Head Fish and back to fish we go, mainly because this next one is a little bit fishy. Seriously though, in China, a man was doing some basic fishing when he went and caught a fish that didn't exactly look right. And as you've probably guessed by now, what didn't look right was the fish's head, because instead of it looking like how it should, it actually looked like the head of a pigeon. That's just weird. Naturally, this would set off a wave of speculation because people wanted to know how it could possibly happen to a fish, and yes, whether a bird was somehow responsible for it. Some experts stepped up though and decided to clear up the issue, mainly by stating that more than likely it was the result of a birth defect and nothing more. Instead, the creature's shiny dome and beaked pigeon-like appearance can probably be explained by defective cell growth and they say that a swelling that was caused by a deformity in the skeletal system of the head region likely forced the downward tilt of its mouth. Though, if you want to know exactly what happened to the fish, it's probably easier said than done. Scientists believe that the causation for the deformity can't really be determined from a photo or 
even from looking at the body, but it is reasonable to assume that it would boil down to either a series of genetic mutations or environmental pollution in the form of waterborne chemical contaminants that could have disrupted the fish's regular cell growth. Still, you can't deny it is an odd looking fish. Number 11. Kama. Now I'm ready for an actual hybrid that I can confirm. Here's another oddity that might seem logical at first, but then you recall logistics and what these animals are and you just wonder how in the world that it happened. Meet Rama the Kama. And what's a Kama? Well, that would be a hybrid offspring of a camel and a llama. Don't think about it too hard. Just accept it. Another thing that you'll have to accept was that Rama is the only one of her kind, and she was born in 1995. This only changed in 2008 when other commas began to be born. Commas are humpless and have the long fluffy coat of a llama. Their ears are halfway in length between camels and llamas, but they have the strong desert ready legs of the camel. The birth of this creature is due to Dr. Lulu Skidmore and her team at Dubai's Camel Reproduction Center. The good doctor stated that when they began the project, they weren't really sure if it would even be possible to breed them, and now they have thriving animals. The main aim of the project was to see if they could get the best of both species. They thought that the long coat of the llama and the strength of the camel would make for a very useful animal. In the end though, it's just another case of human tinkering and hoping that nothing will go wrong, but we can't fully call this a species yet because only having a handful doesn't really fill out all the brackets. Number 10. Jag Lion. Now, if I'm being honest, one of the biggest downsides of these hybrid animals is the fact that the names are just hybrids of their parents and it can get really dumb sounding. For example, Jag Lion. Wow, what possible animals could have names that would fuse together to make that? Oh, could it be a jaguar and a lion? Wow, you got it in one guess. You're a real genius, aren't you? All loathing aside, the jag lion's what happens when a male jaguar and a female lion mate. That's not something that happens a whole lot. And you might say, well, why? Well, that's because jaguars live in the Western Hemisphere, mainly in Central and South America, and lions actually live in Africa. So that's a long distance relationship that isn't really supposed to work. And indeed, there are more than likely only two of them in the world, and you'll find them in Ontario at Canada's Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary. But wait, there's more. Because this time around, humans didn't actually get this to happen. It was an accidental mating between the two. Though that also begs the question of how does that happen accidentally? As you can see, there are visually striking in their own way, but this species isn't likely to grow beyond what you'll see here. Number 9. Weird Little Piggy and now I'm going back into the creepy phase of once-in-a-lifetime creatures that you've been warned about. A piglet in the Philippines left villagers astounded after she was born with two heads, two snouts, and three eyes. That's a recipe for a monster movie pig, not a regular one. And it's also insane fuel for my nightmares. No, I'm not going to make a joke about cooking this thing, though. Thankfully, there was a great deal of kindness that was found within the villagers' hearts, to the extent that they went and helped the piglet as much as they could, and even put it in a separate pen in order to ensure its safety from potential threats, both from within and without. Just as curious, despite having the multiple body parts, they were all functional. That included the two snouts working like they should. Now this one was clearly a birth defect of the highest order, and hopefully one that never happens again. Number 8. Human-Faced Goat yeah, that pretty much sums it up if you think about it, because this was a goat that was found in India, and when it was discovered, it was looking back at people with a face that was very much like their own in a lot of aspects. A person uploaded a video to Facebook of the goat, which was viewed 37,000 times within a short amount of time, and they captioned it, a strange creature has been discovered in India. The animal, whose shape resembles that of a human being, 
terrified a whole village. Is it really hard to see why these people would be terrified by such a goat? I don't think so, because if you think about it real hard, actually not really hard at all, goats aren't really supposed to look like humans, so why would we want to look at this when it literally hurts my eyeballs? Number 7. Two-Legged Lamb Earlier I showed you a dog that sadly had its two left legs compromised so much that they had to be amputated off. Now I'm going to tell you about a little lamb, not owned by Mary, that had been born with just two of its front legs. Sadly, this is a condition that can happen in both animals and humans, but what's astonishing is what the lamb did next because just a day after it would be born, it began to stand up on its own. Then, in about a week, it could actually walk. It walked on just its two front legs, and if you think about it, while the loss of its back legs was bad, it had never used them before, so in its mind, this was how things were supposed to be. Why this particular lamb had this disorder is unknown, as the farmer who raised it noted, the previous two lambs didn't have that issue. Number 6. Wolfen Now it's time for more dumb animal hybrid names. You want to guess what a wolfen is? What it's a fusion of? Oh, a dolphin and a whale, you say? Well, if you want me to be a little bit more specific, that would be a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. So there. How can these two creatures get it together during mating season? Well, the reason for that's quite simple. They like the same kind of waters at the same times, and then they'll merge their pods together and travel as a large group, not unlike various other aquatic species do. But in terms of the wolfen, they've never officially been seen in the wild. Many claim that they have seen them, but it's never been proven. However, we do know that they exist on a certain level because they've been found in certain places like Sea Life Park just outside of Honolulu, Hawaii. But whether they grow in numbers is up to them. Right now, you can only see them inside of certain aquatic parks. Number 5. Double Dave Now I'm going to put you to a real test. What species of creature is the being known as Double Dave? It's probably not the first few creatures that you'd be thinking of, to be fair. Do you give up? Well, it's a snake. But specifically, it's a timber rattlesnake. Why is it called Double Dave? Well, that would be because it has two heads that are fully functional. That's just what you need, really. A snake that can bite you twice at the same time. This snake would be found in New Jersey by an environmentalist group, and it's clearly something they didn't expect to discover, but oh boy did they. While the snake was alive, that doesn't mean that it's a natural thing. A few others have been found throughout the years, but they typically never lasted long. Number 4. Albino Alligators Now I'll talk about a creature that's undergone something that many animals sadly experience at times, albinism. This is when the melanin in your body doesn't get produced in appropriate numbers, so instead of turning your natural colors based on your genetics, you turn all white. In the case of certain albino alligators that have been found, that's a very rare thing. The reason this is a bad thing for the gator in question is that we need melanin in our system in order to survive certain things. Not the least of which is the rays of the sun. The melanin in our systems help us from getting severely burned all the time. So for these alligators and other animals that have albinism, it's a struggle to survive from start to finish. Number 3. Octagoat now, let us all thank your higher power that you believe in that this isn't some weird hybrid of an octopus and a goat. There would be no sleeping for years if that was the case. Rather, this was a goat that was born incredibly wrong, mainly in how it was born with eight legs, among other things. Nicknamed the octagoat, the baby also had both male and female reproductive organs. That led local vets to believe that the newborn's condition was a result of an underdeveloped twin. 
They counted the legs and thought that they were seeing things, and then they called the neighbor to make sure that they weren't crazy. No, you weren't crazy. This was something that very much was never meant to be born, and yet it was. Number 2. Golden Seahorses you honestly have to wonder at times whether humans are ever going to learn their lessons, mainly in that animal DNA should not be tampered with, even if it does make things look beautiful. Take for example the creature known as the Golden Seahorse. You might have seen a golden seahorse in certain shows or games as a mythical creature of some sort, but this is a very real thing and it was made by humans. Specifically, they were created at Vietnam National University's College of Science using a gene shooting method. Gene GFP, which is a light emitting gene extracted from jellyfish, would be combined with tiny grains of gold. Those grains of gold were then injected into seahorse egg cells, and the gold mixed with the jellyfish genes and was incorporated into the cells, which glittered when they came into being. But why make these? Well, because you can sell them to people who want exotic pets, and it's almost always about the money. Number 1. Stumpy Now finally, we have Stumpy. Oh, Stumpy, you're so wonderful. You don't know who Stumpy is? Well, that would be a duck that just so happens to have four legs. That's right, Stumpy has four legs. His owner, Nick Janaway, was naturally very surprised to see what was under the duck after she helped birth it and tried to determine the gender, remarking that it was absolutely bizarre and that they thought, hmm, it's got too many legs. Because of its condition, it was not predicted to survive that long. However, it was taken care of and ensured that it would live as long of a life as possible. The duck is doing very well and is still very tame and loves all the attention that it's received. What did you think of this look at the animals who are so different from others that they're well and truly something you'll probably only see once in a thousand years? Did any of these animals really weird you out? Have you ever created an animal like this yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.